Is it Albert Pierce? Which is the AHBS? Albert Pierce started the business back in yeah, 18. What is it? 120 years. We're 198, <laughs> right? Um, and he actually started as a um, really a trader. Um, he used to get a horse and sulky. He, he'd catch a train into the country, and, he, and he'd have a he had a horse and sulky waiting for him at the station, and then he just travelled around all the farmsteads. And basically, whatever they wanted, he'd go and buy it and sell it to them, you know. And that's how they, they A.H. Pierce started the business. Um, and that, and, and the fortunes of the company, I think, went up and down over the years. The Pierce family actually were, were original board members of the Bank of New South Wales. There you go. When when it first started up, um, so Albert did this for many years, then his son Harold got into the business, uh, I guess in the early 1900s, and continued doing what, what, what uh, Albert did, except he used the, 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 the Sharabang, the new motor vehicle, to do the same job. Um, and gradually they continued trading things from bailing hooks to sacks to anything people wanted. But Harold was an engineer and he got into the sewage business. So he became quite an expert in sewage works and started supplying chemicals into the sewage industry, selling to councils basically. Um, in the 30s, after the uh, depression, towards the end of the depression, the um, government gave, a bit like Kevin Rudd did, they gave uh, incentives to, to businesses to try and re-stimulate the economy. And they offered money to councils to either put new sewage works in, and in those days I think there was, you know, it was pretty basic, the dunny in the backyard, and they actually started putting sewer lines through. So they could put sewage systems in, or they could put swimming pools in. I think the pools came a little bit later. So Harold developed, he was actually the first one to bring in dry chlorine out of the UK. And that was used in the sewage works. Um, when the swimming pool started to get built, nobody really knew how to operate them. And as Harold was working his way around the country, you know, one town would have a problem with the pool, somebody would find out how to fix it, and then he'd go to the next town or another town and they'd have a similar problem, so he was able to tell them how to fix that problem. So he became a conduit to, to pass information around, at the same time supplying the necessary algicides and chlorine in, into, the, into, the, uh, into those pools. So he was actually instrumental in start, start commencing what is now the ARI, the Australian Recreational Institute, or Aquatic Recreational Institute. Uh, in those days it was the Australian Pool Man Country Pool Managers Association or something like that. So they gradually developed more and more pool related products from equipment, swimming suits, chemicals, um, and again, the, the, uh, mainly into the commercial market. They did business in the domestic market for many years in pool blankets, but most of their business was in the commercial side of the business. Our family bought into International Quadratics in 2000, and IQ had been going for about, uh, well, since mid-1970s, so it was a pretty well-established spa chemical business at the time. But we had always wanted to get into the commercial side of the business. And in early 2000s, we started bringing in uh, the equipment's not here, but the uh, dry chlorine feeders for the large aquatic centres. Um, Pierce came up for sale in the mid 2000s, 2006, 2007. The family they ran out of family members that were interested in continuing the business, so I approached them, and as a result, we ended up buying Pierce pool supplies, as it was then known, or A.H. Pierce became Pierce Pool Supplies. And we continue, to, even today, to, to run Pierce Pool Supplies really as our commercial div division. You know, International Quadratics is well known as, as, as a company, but the Pierce Pool Supplies, to be honest with you, when we first bought the business, we had intended to kill the name off and it all become International Quadratics. But with a hundred and odd years of history, 
everybody used to ring up and say, is that Pierce Pool Supplies? So, you know, they can call me anything they want to as long as they want to do business with us. So as a consequence, Pierce Pool Supplies, I believe, has actually been reinvigorated and we now have, again, a very close connection with the ARI and, um, and the commercial side of our business is, is probably 40% of our total business. 60% domestic and ask me again in five years time if I'm still around and hopefully it'll be 60% commercial and 40% domestic because the commercial side of the business is a very strong uh, growing side of the business. So. Domestic business is fairly flat whereas aquatic centres are now becoming entertainment centres so um, that's where we see our longer term future. Change me. I've been in the, in the pool side of the business since what they mid 1980s, and as I said before, I'm a chemical salesman. But but we're not selling chemicals anymore. We're selling technology, and uh, more and more young people are coming in. They're getting better trained. It's becoming more professional. Uh, you need more qualifications to run a pool, whether it, even a domestic or a, a, a commercial pool. So I. I I think the commercial side will definitely grow, as I said earlier, it, it's got strong growth in it, but it does need younger people with good technical skills, and I ain't going to be one of those people, to be honest. <laughs> the tech, you know, my, my seven-year-old grandson switches my telephone on for me in the morning, so um, my two sons, who are, are, are very well, very capable of, of the new tech, and aware of the new technology, they're now running this business in real, in real terms they're the ones that are going to carry the business forward and hopefully um, we've got another 120 years to go I won't be there to see it but hopefully they will <laughs>